Yo. It's good with it, man. We are back with another YouTube video, man. Okay, see ya. You want more Sparky Zero? I think Sparky Zero, man. Hey, subscribe. Subscribe, man. Fuck with your boy. All right. Anyway, let's take a peek. I'm actually Shall gonna get into the episode start? battles. I haven't. Every single one of these I've done, I've recorded. I think I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna do like I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna do Piccolo. I'm realistically probably only gonna do Vegeta and Gohan, probably. I don't really care to do Freezers. I already did Goku Black. If you didn't see that video, I did that. Let's do Vegeta's. Let's go already. Wonder, wonder, where's it gonna start me? Is it gonna start me in the Sand Saga or no? Start me on Namek. After losing to Goku on Earth, Vegeta makes his way to playing Namek and hopes to use their Dragon Balls to become immortal. I mean, however, Vegeta is followed by Kui, who has been ordered by Freezer to kill him. It's not long before Kui makes his presence known. Vegeta's fighting experience on Earth is a racist power level beyond that of Kui. Pretends off in last year, but in reality, he's trying to give Vegeta lower his guard. Didn't work at all. <laughs> That's what you get! Your I bitch ass can't up. believe you actually fell for that old gag. That lot of good all that power did at the moment of truth. <laughs> really? So that's what it is, then. I have to say, even for you, that was a pretty dismal move. No, <laughs> no, it can't be! If there were any brains in that head of yours, you'd have realized my speed has increased as well. Which means, unfortunately for you, that little ruse only succeeded in pissing me off! <laughs> mm. The sands are true or your race! Underestimate us! Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Yes, sir. Me. Come here, Queen. You're not dealing with the average sand anymore. All right, bro. Stop, bro. I can do that too. I can do that too. See, it takes no skill. Don't piss me off. Oh, y'all seen the flip? Come here. What if I told you I have more fun doing like the custom episode battles, episode battles, and uh, the offline content? I don't know why, but I have more fun doing that stuff than playing online. I do. I don't know why though. I'm glad they. I'm, I'm glad they made the uh, offline content like extensive. That's pretty cool. I really do enjoy that. And that custom battles, like I can make some. Like, bro, we gonna deep dive into a lot of those. I'm actually kind of scared to play that one custom battle with Yajirobe again because they nerfed Yajirobe and I don't know how that's going to go, bro. It's only going to make that way harder than it already is. So I don't even know if I want to go back and do it, bro. I'm also trying to level 20 so I can unlock Goku Black. All seven Dragon Balls are needed in order to make a wish. I only need to find one to prevent Frieza from being able to use them. Those Earthling Stooges will find the other six for me. Then I'll take them all. Once I get that wish, not only will I be granted eternal life, but no one, not even Frieza himself, will be able to stand in my way. I'll be uncontested, <laughs> utterly invincible. I, Vegeta, Prince of all Saiyans, will rule the universe! I wonder how you think of a design like that. I would never in a million years think of a character design that looks like that. As you search for Dragon Ball, you look at Dory, whom he then challenges and swiftly defeats. Based on the Dory's words, Vegeta suspects that there are humans on planet Namek. Though he tries to track them down, he ultimately isn't able to find them. Abandoning his search, he departs for a Namek universe to obtain a Dragon Ball. Wow. <laughs> hey, I like that we got to fight for Kui, but not the Doria. After attacking Namek universe, obtaining the four-star Dragon Ball, Vegeta hides underwater and goes to search for me and Dragon Balls. Vegeta appears before Zarbon, who is on the hunt for the Dragon Balls. He informs him that he has defeated Doria and that he will be next. That's crazy, eh? No way, y'all gave. Oh, I was I should have beat Kui with dirty fireworks. You know? Oh man, but no way y'all gave. No way they gave Kui a fight and not Dodoria. That's crazy. That's disrespectful. Isn't it obvious? I hate the bastard. Always have. And now that there's a chance not to just seize eternal life, but to wrench free of his control at the same time. Well, the real question is, why in my right mind wouldn't I turn against him? Starting to get the picture, pretty boy? You're seeking to use the Dragon Balls for yourself. Frieza will not get his dirty hands on them. And once I'm given immortality, Frieza is as good as dead. This joke of an empire is finished. 
Certainly, even someone as thick as you knows it'll take more than immortality to conquer Frieza. Enough talk. You've never had a real taste of Saiyan power. So here, eat up! So here, eat up is crazy. Bravo, Vegeta. Your progress intrigues me. Enough so that I feel it's only courtesy to show you the full extent of my, my own power. Something I've let lay dormant for many years. Shut up. Such a sense of humor. Does it Christopher's about voice are bound to? You breathe your last breath. There's a very good reason I keep my full Bro, I'm whooping his ass. Exploiting them calls for a drastic transformation. Quite a distasteful one, in fact. Hideous, even. Naturally, I'm somewhat reluctant to sacrifice my looks. But when my hand has been forced, what choice is there? Me, 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 very well. Don't say you weren't warned. That's how he kills our bond anime too, right? You trust. I wonder, am I supposed to lose? At least he didn't have to whoop my ass. So I'm okay with that. Vegeta is unable to defeat the Trans Star and takes the first opportunity to escape. He also steals the Dragon Balls Frieza had gathered before chasing after Krillin take the front. Oh, Vegeta is soon found by Zarbon who had been following him. Ooh. Okay. About to come back from the version of G's power level had risen enough to win. When he says this is the dangerous game for support, Vegeta offers to cooperate with Krillin to prevent Frieza from using the Dragon Balls. But before they can use them, the game force catch up to them and seize the Dragon Balls. After catching Gould off guard, managing to beat him, there are only four of the elite forces left. Vegeta sh shivers in anticipation of the battle. Okie dokie, Vegeta. I hope you're ready, because now you're going to get it. Okie dokie. We are. Get in your fights. Dig in your fights. Cool, definitely on the spectrum, right? Our bro Chase gotta be out, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You got some moves. Sands are true or you always don't underestimate us. Uh, me, 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 me. That's crazy. Oh, I look so clean. Ultra 40? Oh my gosh. Yo! Raccoon overwhelms Vegeta with his strength, leaving Vegeta to struggle. But at that moment, Goku arrives and never joins in, and together they easily defeat Raccoon. Together? And the others use sensor beams brought by Goku and ready themselves for a fight against Ginyu. Vegeta leaves the field and ba the field of battle and begins looking for a Dragon Ball stolen by Captain Ginyu. It is not if Vegeta knows it's gone, the others use the Dragon Radar to find the Dragon Balls first. Into the summon Purunga, deal with his two enemies, and have his wish. But then Captain Ginyu, who has switched bodies for Goku, arrives with Jace to attack Gohan and Krillin. Hey! Eyes up! You're dealing with me now! Oh, kid yourself! What makes you think you can take me now, Vegeta? Because with each battle, I'm getting closer and closer to becoming a Super Saiyan! Oh, come off it with your fairy tales! Oh, come off it with your fairy tales! Oh my, oh my gosh! Yo, I wish they would have added that move. I don't have any more water. After defeating Jay's Vegeta closes in on Captain Ginyu. Captain Ginyu tends to switch bodies with Vegeta, but Goku dies between two fires, claiming his own body. The one that Goku begins to recover his strength in preparation for fighting Frieza while Vegeta takes the opportunity to rest. However, going to take advantage of the load to summon Purunga. But suddenly Guru dies, Purunga disappears, and Dragon Balls turn to stone. A Frieza, who has been traveling towards Purunga's a column of light, makes an appearance. I really must hand it to you. In all my years, I've never been so angry as I am now. Fuck you. Now, you'll pay. You vile, fill sucking maggots will rue the day you cross my path. Prepare yourselves to embrace oblivion. Go on then. Do your worst. But if you think this is going to be easy, then you're dead wrong. You haven't a clue. I'm becoming a thing you fear most. The legendary Super Saiyan. 
Do you really expect me to take such desperate boasts at face value? I've heard enough of your pathetic lies! Let's get the squabbles in there. Ew. After withstanding Freezer's attack, Vegeta taunts him, telling him to transform. Vegeta responds, but... I mean, Frieza responds, but difference in their power level is too great. It is not a Piccolo appears. He has fused with Mechie and Nail and obtained incredible power. Piccolo and Frieza are locked in the day heat, but Frieza still has two more transformations up his sleeve. Frieza is transformed once again, and Piccolo go on stand to fight him. Frieza, Frieza, however, says he will let them bear witness to one last transformation. While Frieza is transforming, Vegeta attempts to use the Saiyan special ability to come back from the brink of death even stronger. Vegeta's orders clear and last a life threatening blow on him, now leaving his fate to Dende and the making with healing powers. Dende refuses at first to heal Vegeta, so all the Mekis he's killed. Gohan, however, pegs Dende, leaving him no choice. Now get ready. And so Vegeta rises from the brink of death once more to face Frieza, who has finally shown himself. You little wretch! Consider yourself lucky I didn't incinerate you! <laughs> the rest of you stay back! Just keep your eyes peeled and enjoy the show! Someone's full of confidence, you poor fool. The helplessness of your situation has made you delusional. I doubt you'll be so smug once you realize what you're up This first against. person is so wrong. What stands before you now <laughs> is the thing you fear most. I am a super saiyan. Yeah, the first person is so there tight. There will be a shred of you left when Kakarot wakes up. First person is so wrong. Bro, do you still able to block a charged up move? Look how much health we got. So I wonder if I win this fight. Oh my gosh, this ain't gonna be easy. Look how much damage he did. Look how much damage he does. I plan to win this though. I wonder if I get an alternate like ending if I win this fight. Like, it's gonna take a. Bro, this is about to be a. Oh my gosh. Look at how much damage he does. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Oh. oh. Big counters. Oh, I got hit by us, bro. That's not hidden. <laughs> bro, hang on. Nah, 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 nah. I got to sit up for this one. He do way more damage than I expected him to do. You vermin! So I wonder if Vegeta at this point was the strongest Freeza star. Third transformation, maybe? I, if I had to guess. We're like gone. I'm the strongest fighter in the universe. No, 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 no. Come here. Yes. <laughs> you. So sorry to dash all your hopes and dreams, Vegeta. But for all your efforts, you never even came close to being on my level. I thought maybe if I won, I got a different life. Whatever, bro. I just standing behind him like this is crazy. And they stand behind him like, yo, what's good, nigga? Damn! You aren't gonna want to hold anything back, Frieza. Not against this one. You see, he is what you fear more than anything else in the universe. You're dealing with the real Super Saiyan. I know I gotta get my thumbnails, man. I gotta need something to choose between, or I'm dead. Oh, Vegeta, you forget. I don't enjoy jokes, and you've never been very funny. You murderer! He couldn't even defend himself! Kakarot, I need you to know what happened to planet Vegeta, where we were born. It's gone. Not because it collided with a giant meteor. It, it was Frieza who did it! We served him blindly for years, and he disposed of our entire race, wiped us from existence. I'm, I'm begging you, please, beat him. For me, the pride of our race, you must defeat him, please. He must die by a Saiyan's hand. Chapter one's done, okay, I'm gonna leave it right here.